Hello everyone, glad you could make it. Welcome back to another Click Shape tutorial, and today we'll be covering how to make your own black letter calligraphy pen. So this is for people that don't have access to an Amazon-like service to send a pilot parallel link in the description, or it's too expensive to be really worth it. Um, I'm getting a lot of these requests recently, so uh, here's a way to make your own black letter calligraphy pen, or if you just want to make something that's thicker than pilot parallel, or write larger, if you want to write larger letters, as you can tell, it's much broader of an edge. Um, or you just want to make a craft, that's cool too. So let's get into what you need. You will need a can of your favorite beverage, or not favorite. You will need a cutting device for said can, some sort of placemat or something to cut on. You will need a pin, you will need some doweling or wood or something to hold your um, hold your tool. You need some tape or adhesive to connect that, duct tape works. I have electrical tape. Um, some way, some cutting device that makes a slot in said doweling or wood. You'll need a ruler and marker to measure out your metal. And that's it. Let's just jump into it. First thing you're going to do is grab your can and your cutting device, exacto knife, whatever you want to call it. Um, you're going to make some cuts here and here and just remove the main part of the can, like so. So now, now that you have your little piece of metal here, you want to measure out two, or one, sorry, 1 1.5 centimeters by six centimeters. And you'll probably want to make multiples because there is a point where you can, later on, that can, uh, can fail or break uh, if you don't do it right. So make a few extras so that you can, uh, if you mess up, no worries. After that, you'll want to cut open or cut out your one of your rectangles there. Your 1.5 centimeter by 6 centimeter. Once you have that, you'll want to fold in half. But you don't want to fold it like you'd fold paper, which is like you want to really squish that edge. Like, because here's the failure point. This breaks, right? Because it's so thin. Don't have it super flat. Like, it can have a little bit of a bubble here. That's fine. Um, then you want to open it up, not fully, just around 90 degrees. And on this little lip, that will be your edge of your pen. So you want to grab your pin. You want to put your pin in the center. You want to take some sort of little hammer, give it a couple nice little taps, you'll get the feel for it, until it makes a small hole. How small, you ask? Um, it really varies. I've had success with it at multiple sizes, but too big is always a problem. So that's about the size of hole that you want. Make sure it goes all the way through. And then you want to make four more of these. Be careful not to have it too close to the edge, because that can also be a failure point. So five or six, doesn't have to be super evenly spaced, um, totally fine. So that's kind of what you want it to, to look like. You'll want to fold this edge into the center. That, you want to fold it a little bit, or close this, or squeeze this end. Again, you don't want to squeeze too much on this side because it can snap now that you've now made perforations, which now we weaken it further. Next, you want to get the high grit sandpaper, and you'll want to very gently see those little nibs, the perforations where you poked. On the other side, there will be metal on the other side. So now that's no good for writing a smooth letter. So you want to just gently sand those edges off. Okay, so this is about what it should look like. So now that you're done your nib, you can set that aside and get your doweling. Cut it to around the size you'd want to hold. 
Um, and then now you want to get out your slot making tool. Uh, I got a hacksaw here. You want to be very careful with this step. Um, ideally, you'd want a vise to hold this in so that you could saw it really easy, easily into it. But I don't have that available. So take your hacksaw and you want to run your dowling on the spot where you want to make the slot. Until you get a decent enough indent in, probably around half a centimeter to a centimeter. Now, be very careful when you're doing this. I gave myself quite a good gash uh, when my dowling split when I was making this a couple weeks ago. So, be very, very careful. Now that you've made your slot and your nib, you want to slot that in. You don't add too much pressure and fold it too much because the sides can break as you now have holes in them. Then you want to grab your tape and tape and tape that up real good. Now that your nib is fully secure and has a little space to retain some ink, you can get a paper of your choice. If you don't know what paper to use, link it in the description. Um, and your favorite ink. You want to dip it in all the way down to at least your electrical tape and then make sure it fills up that reservoir. Let's give it a go. You will get some feathering if you run out of ink, it'll be or railroading. It'll be quite obvious, and you can just go over it again. But I think it adds a pretty cool little style to it. But I think that's a success. Now that uh, about wraps this video up. Um, all I can say is be careful when you're making these. If, uh, if you want to learn how to write some letters, I have plenty of videos available. Um, thank you for watching and take care.